Hi all, I have another interesting notable game to show you today. Playing white was Mario Lanzani, an international master from Italy, and playing black was Ian Rogers, who we've touched on a little bit in this series already. Ian Rogers, uh, an Australian GM, and has played very, very exciting uh, openings in his chess career. He's not currently active, he's more active as a commentator at the moment. This was in the Neuro tournaments in 1984 let's see what happened Mario Lanzani started with d4 we have knight f6 after c4 a surprise move e5 sing signaling the Budapest gambit it's accepted knight g4 hitting e5 that's protected knight c6 Knight f3, this is the main move here. Bishop b4 check. Often plays with white play knight bd2 here. But also this has been seen a bit, quite a bit. Knight c3. And black has two major choices here, either queen e7 or taking on c3. Ian Rogers chose bishop takes c3. Of the takes, now queen e7. We have queen d5 protecting that e5 pawn. And black treats it as a gambit, basically. Here he plays f6 after e takes, knight takes. Usually, players with white actually put the queen on d3 in this position. 95 games with queen d3. There's only eight with queen d1. In this game, we see a queen d1. An example of queen d3, like this is a beaten path where you can see that, uh, yeah, it looks as though white should be. A little bit better here quite a few games even from this position no the free even from this position uh, so so Queen d1 is a little bit of a theoretical departure but it's such a, a rare opening to face so Queen d1 we have d6 and white plays e3 now so he's not going for a thin chat over the bishop black castles Bishop e2. And now knight e4. Looking at c3 here. That's protected. And now king h8. Getting off this sensitive diagonal. White castles. And black plays very aggressively now. Yes, I really like this. <laughs> play next. King's crusher style. What does black play here if I give you five seconds? Starting from now. Yeah, g5, harassing the bishop. And now h5, so threatening h4 to trap the bishop. Bishop d3. It's too dangerous to play h4 here. The knight goes to c5. If h4 here, then white can play bishop takes. And this is just simply not very good for black, uh, this position. Uh, queen takes. There's knight takes now, hitting the queen. And that's pretty bad, that's losing. So no, got to get away from bishop takes e4 here. So knight c5, which has the added benefit, still threatening h4, but putting a little bit of pressure on d3. White plays h4 now to parry h4 from black. And a great move here. Can you spot it if I give you five seconds here? What would you play with black? Great move. Okay, rook takes f3. So if queen takes f3, we can either take, or maybe even slightly better is actually to harass the queen first uh, to get the queen to go here, and then we then, and then we take on d3. Slight improvement. <clears throat> That's better for black. In any case. So g takes f3 was played, but now we have g takes h4, and look at this potential g file to, to white's king. Bishop h3, and now white offers the exchange back. It's too dangerous to move the rook because this check incoming is far too dangerous. But uh, black's not interested in just taking the exchange here. Black plays rook, g8. 
and it looks as though White's defending with Rook G1, but when he played this move, he also actually resigned. It's actually a very, very bad position here. The problem is this bishop is loose. Uh, so rook takes, bishop takes. Now it is threatening to go back to cover g2, but if it's taken out first, so there's no cover on g2. Now queen g5 is just killing, threatening queen g2. How does Honest White want to give up the queen? That's a terminal. Yes, that is killing. If queen takes, well, we just take on uh, d3 here on queen takes. And that's great for black. It's hero up. It's a winning position. Yeah, sweet a sweet game uh, from the Budapest Gambit. Earlier, black... Yeah, was a bit fortunate, maybe, because there was a defensive idea um, in this position. Instead of bishop h2, it turns out bishop f4 is a better way to try and defend this. Eg knight e5. Looking at this bishop now. This position here looks as though it should be okay for white it's defendable yeah but the way black the way white played it with bishop h2 yes it wasn't really any good this position it's lost a cute little game and it shows actually how dramatic the results can be playing a surprise opening i know that's been a kind of unintentional side effect of this little notable game series so far but it is a common pattern and not without just cause really you know if you go through the most beaten opening territory then people generally don't have terrible positions at the opening but surprise weapons have the element of surprise and when the opponents slip up it's on a big scale this is a big scale mess of white's king safety here all losing material Okay, the Budapest Gambit there. Something maybe to think about, at least for Blitz Chess, if not even the occasional surprise weapon in over the board. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.